Okay, that was the most convenient charging because it's already the next day. <laughs> so, uh, here's the Westin and we had a good night at the Westin Hotel and a good breakfast this morning and also it was an awesome concert in the T-Mobile Arena and I put something in and tell you something later about it. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is The, the point is here with this charger That's a shared ch charger And so I was always wondering why I get messages because it, I think it has 44 amp on 200 volt, 208 volt, and then it, depending how many people are connected, is changing the amperage on it. So recommendation is charge to 80% as soon as you can, or more, and then next morning check it again and then see how much do you need uh, to charge for uh, when you're going on a trip. All right. So guys, we're getting closer to the sphere and it's very close and they are making some advertisement there and let's see how it looks like Okay, okay guys, you see the picture, but we cannot be here because uh, security already coming. Let me check. Okay, thanks to the nice security guard here uh, who is actually uh, watching the, uh, the building from the Formula One event, which been ripped off uh, uh, or, or built and dismantled every year we uh, have a possibility to go towards the sphere 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 and there it is and let's do it you too so guys if you see that there are just little led cycles here and this makes up the whole picture at the end so only when you are close then you can see that okay regarding to the las vegas loop from the boring company so i, I put some pictures there in the back is i asked the security guy and this is currently about a mile distance and it's not for public transportation in regards to you cannot a personal car even if it's a tesla cannot drive in there only uh permitted cars can drive in that loop uh, from the boring company permitted cars and you have to have probably a certain license and, and, and features in your car they're all drivers uh, Tesla's there there are some rides there you can step in that car if you want to with the Tesla and then you can ride a mile and then ride back that loop is a five-year plan connected to all hotels down the strip and at the end you should arrive to the airport but it will be taking about five years before every station is open. And I even then don't know if it's gonna be open to the public, to a private driver or not. So it's not open. You can pay $5 per person. Uh, then in one of the uh, uh, hotels here, 
you can buy a ticket get a little tour drive around, drive uh, back and forth probably and then that's the las vegas loop it's about a mile or so oops <laughs> our tradition is usually to go to the hofbrau house in las vegas and uh, here it is on Harmon avenue uh, not far away from the strip a recommendation go there don't overeat or over drink Next recommendation in Vegas, there, are, uh, there is a German bread bakery company. Actually, there are two of them. One is more in the south and one is more in the east of Vegas. Recommended good German bread. Not, uh, American bread is not that great. So you should go there. Good German cake and bread and all of the delicious bakeries. And we're gonna go there before we're going home we're gonna go there yeah we are leaving beautiful las vegas and we are going towards kingman again and you saw the shop that's the bakery and uh, they spoke even german with us in the bakery that is how originally it is and it's really good good cakes good food good bread so recommendation stop by there the Lake Mead gained water. Yeah, that was another quick stop at the supercharger here in Kingman, and uh, now turn right onto East we continue to go to Wickenburg, and there is another surprise in Wickenburg. We tell you later. I quick ordered online. I quick ordered online uh, a latte from a st coffee store here, and it was pretty well organized because I just went there and. When I went there, the latte was ready. So it's just super exact timing. So I estimated, uh, the car estimated timing when we arrived. And I told them, this is when I want to have my coffee and it was the exact timing when I got the coffee. So, and then in the background, you should see some picture of what we made on the way here. And we are now, sun is almost setting. It's about left onto West uh, four o'clock and we are going towards Wickenburg. We are good on the way to our trip to Wickenburg. And what is so special in Wickenburg, there is a Christmas party there. And just this is right next to the supercharger. So we are probably going to the supercharger and might stay there a little bit longer. There are currently five free spots available. And then we got charged there and go to the Christmas market. And you're gonna see some pictures from the Christmas market but it's going to be dark already there. And this is close to sunset now. After that, I have to drive. Because my wife don't drive, doesn't drive in dark times. So I'm driving in dark times. And that's why it's probably my last video there and some pictures from the Christmas market and from the way there. And then the next time I'm gonna open that for the next day and give you statistics, but not yet. First, the uh, Christmas pictures. Until 6.45, folks, 6.45. All right. Well, that's good for Christmas.